In this video, we're going to be discussing angles of elevation and depression as they relate to real-world problems. Let's imagine that we're seeing two people, and let's say that person A is standing on the ground, and person B is perhaps standing on a balcony. Person A can measure the angle of elevation so that their line of sight is hitting person B. The way you get your angle of elevation is person A would look straight ahead along a horizontal line and then raise their gaze a certain number of degrees until they're seeing person B. And this can be measured by devices such as clinometers or a simple one using a protractor. Person B could also measure how their line of sight has changed from the horizontal to downwards until they're looking at person A. Now if this angle of elevation is 25 degrees, this angle, which we call an angle of depression, is also going to be 25 degrees. And there's a reason for that that comes from geometry. The horizontal lines that we were looking at must be parallel. And two parallel lines that are crossed by a third line form what we call equal angles. They're called alternate interior angles. Let's look at the next diagram. Let's say that we're talking about a problem where we have a plane that is coming in for landing and we have a control tower at an airport. And let us also say that the plane has an altimeter which measure, measures its altitude and that is reading 7,624 feet. That's the distance from the airplane all the way to the ground. We'll say that the control tower is 50 feet tall. And a device on the airplane is measuring the angle of depression from the plane to the top of the control tower. That that angle of depression is 15 degrees. The question that would probably be, be answered by creating a, a diagram with this problem would be what is the ground distance from directly below the airplane to the control tower? We'd like to find x. And let me just quickly say that if we were told that someone looking at the, from the control tower to the airplane had an angle of elevation of 15 degrees, that information w would be placed on the diagram correctly by whoever was working the problem. However, when we're told that it's an angle of depression, often people put that information here. You have to remember that the angle of depression is measured from the horizontal downwards, so it actually belongs here, not inside the triangle at this corner. Angle of, ele angle of depression is not measured from directly downwards. It's measured from horizontal down. Now again, when we're trying to do this problem, the 15 degrees here is outside of the triangle. So moving it towards the inside, the other corner, again using the fact that angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation, this is where that angle should belong in this, in this diagram that we're going to use to solve this problem. When we look at this problem, we need to realize that we have information on this triangle right here. We're assuming that's a 90 degree angle. Our angle of depression is now our angle of elevation, 15 degrees. We have a way of finding this height. However, it's not the 7,624 feet anymore. 
we're going to have to subtract the 50 feet, which is the height of the control tower, since this 50 feet here is also here. Again, we have to work inside of a right triangle. When we do the subtraction, we get... So that is this dimension, 7,574 feet, and we're trying to find x, which is this distance. Using our tangent function, we can now say the tan of 15 degrees is equal to 7,574 feet over x. The tan of 15 degrees is 0.2679. And again, when we do our cross multiplication, our cross products here, we can realize that we're going to be dividing both sides by 0.2679, and that's going to give us that that ground distance is 28,000. 266, whether we can say that it's accurate to tenths of a foot is something we can argue about, but that's what we're getting as our answer. Let's think of another example, and again, these drawings are not going to be to scale, but let's say you are standing 150 feet away from a building, and you'd like to know what its height is, and you have an alternative a clinometer of some sort that you're using. So you're going to be looking straight ahead and then raising your line of sight so you see the top of the building. And let's say that angle of elevation is 57 degrees. Again, people t generally put the angle of elevation in the correct place on diagrams. So we're trying to find the height of the building, X, and again, we're going to be looking at a, a right triangle. And this is really the right triangle with the angle in the corner, 90 degrees here. And we can set up our ratio. Tan of 57 degrees equals... x over 150 feet. Now the problem here is that we're not going to be finding the total height of the building. We're just finding this distance here. We're going to have to add your height to the final answer. So I'll write down what your height is. Let's say it's at 5.8 feet and we'll do this problem and then come back. So our cross products here give us x times 1 equals tan of 57 which is 1.539 times 150 feet. So when we do our cross products here, we get directly to our answer. We get 230.98. And again, rounding and truncating our answers sometimes is a, a little bit of a decision call. So that is the partial height of the building. We have to add your height to it because your height right now is outside of that right triangle and we get the total height of the building when we add your height to what we just found and we get 236 and 8 tenths feet. Again, we've been talking about angles of elevation and depression. People generally will put the angle of elevation in the correct spot in the diagram. There's a little bit more of a problem with angle of depression. Um, just make sure that you put it in the right corner and remember that the angle of depression often will, will end up outside of the triangle. You need to use your rule that these angles are equal so that you can put your angle of depression in the right, in the right corner of your right triangle. Um, again, don't try not to put these angles of depression or elevation in this upper corner 
you should be getting the wrong answer.